right now nobody can find workers. Opportunity is everywhere right now. When society starts to change, people who put themselves in position to adjust with the changes, they come out on top. Read your history. Millionaires are made in depressions and recessions. It takes money to make money, but that's a great way to get started. Look at manual labor jobs. Look at some of these positions that might not necessarily have the best starting wage, but they're offering overtime and they're offering double time. Some of these same jobs also have projects where they may be building another facility or, or something of that nature, and they'll send people places temporarily for a month, two months, three months, and you get paid even more than that. But automation is coming for a lot of these things, but while the money is still there, if you're unskilled, automation hasn't arrived yet. What do I mean by automation? If you don't, if you're unfamiliar with that term, a lot of these warehouse jobs will be replaced by robots and robotic means. Uh, radio controlled or remote controlled forklifts. That'll come eventually. But until it gets here, you can take advantage of that opportunity. And if you're one of these people who's, for example, uh, you're apt with computers and computer programming you can learn how the job works you can be the person to create the app to do the job will you be putting some other workers out of business or out of out of jobs yeah well somebody's going to do it so the opportunity for that will always be there and then I think there's just going to be some jobs that require such manual dexterity where you're always going to need some human eyes on it uh, another place that was hiring, or well, they didn't say that they were hiring. Uh, there's a, a big college in my uh, the city I live in. At one point, they were firing people, and if you didn't get jabbed in the arm, they were firing you. And now they need, they can't find employees. They can't even hire back the people that they got rid of. Now this is uh, the groundskeeping department because uh, one of my homeboys works for them. But they can't keep workers in. You know, that's another type of job that you can keep until retirement if you're the type of employee that they want. But in they 10 can't miles, keep take in. exit 63AB to merge onto US 190 East towards Mandeville. So I don't know if... Uh, I just don't think that's going to be the type of job if you talk about uh, doing flower beds and, you know, mixing pesticides and mi mixing weed killer and, and, and um, fertilizer to make grass look a certain way. I don't know if robots are gonna be able to work at that type of detail. So some of these jobs, in my opinion, will never go away. Now, one thing that was said among the gentlemen I was speaking to was that a lot of young men get on the jobs and then quit. Now, I don't know what you're doing outside of, well, not, let me not say you. I don't know what men are doing outside of working where they just walk off of jobs. And, you know, I'm not quite sure how that's working. But understand, if you're willing to show up, be on time, show up consistently, have a good attitude, and keep a job and if it's a type of job where it's not paying a lot but they're giving unlimited overtime you can stack your money up if you're willing to learn new skills and you need to do that don't be the employee that stays at the bottom forever when they give you opportunities to learn new skills learn them or else you'll see younger people coming coming on the job as you age and they'll move ahead of you and if you don't take the opportunity to learn and make yourself a better employee, especially if they're offering you the training. If they're offering you the training, they're basically saying, we like you, we want you here, we want to pay you more money, we want to give you more responsibility, plus we need somebody to fill this role. So that's them saying, 
We're confident in your abilities. There's something about you and we want to cultivate you here in this company. Don't be the person who they say, we want to give you some more responsibilities and then you quit. They're trying to help you move forward. They're also testing you to see what type of a worker you are. And they're testing to see what your capacity is. Take those opportunities. I remember I met one young man, God bless his soul. Uh, he had to be in his early 20s when I was in my late 20s when I met the guy. This is when I was still teaching and coaching in the evenings rather than what I'm doing now. But nonetheless, in the summer times, you know, the guy would see me not going to work. And, uh, you, you know, as a, I, at that time, my wife was a housewife and we, even off my teacher salary and coaching, it don't take everything to have a stay at home wife. You just gotta have a woman who's willing to cooperate. But in this kid's eyes, and I call him a kid because he was like 21 or 22. In his eyes, I had it made. I had a, 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 a this is about 2013, my 2011, Dodge Ram was paid off and you know I had a good looking wife some people you know they think good looking is the only thing that makes a good wife it ain't but okay in this kid's eyes he's looking like man you don't have to go to work all summer and you living better than me hell you got it made so you always remember somebody's gonna look at you and say you know what I wish I had that person like you always remember that I had that conversation with my brother recently um, he's a high achiever. He's in he's in medical school and waiting to go into his residency. And he was he's beating up on himself like, man, I could be doing better. I could be doing better. I say, hey man, you know somebody who's say living in Chicago or South Central or in a trailer park somewhere, or wherever, is probably looking like, hey man, you want to switch? So uh, you know you can't you, you got to take that stuff with a grain of salt. Somebody out there thinks what you're doing is the bomb. I don't care what you do. Now, anyway, this kid got offered a promotion at the milk factory he was working at. And um, he turned it down. And I'm like, what are you what, what are you doing, bro? Well, I just didn't know if I could do the job. I've never managed people. I'm like, hey, man, they didn't ask you that. They didn't ask you if you thought you were good enough. They didn't ask if you're good enough. They didn't ask what you know. They offered you a promotion. So if you're out there and you're on the bottom of the totem pole and you get offered a promotion, you take it. Take the extra money, take the extra experience, take the extra skills, get where you can get in that company. You'll start having more options as you build skills. If they offer to send you to school, go. If they offer for you to learn a trade or a credential, go. Get it. Don't take that as an opportunity or don't take it as a situation where it's like, oh man, they're trying to make me work hard, I quit. No! And um, I hate to say this, but I saw this a lot coaching. So it's mostly men watching here, so take your emotions out of it, fellas. When you're a kid and you got a dad, at one point or another, dad's going to put some bass in his voice and either tell you Hurry up, pay attention, something. So when the kids who've had fathers come into, uh, or, 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 or you know, for trials or whatever the case may be, the kids who are pouting and getting mad because they hear a man putting some bass in his voice, sometimes it's the kids who haven't had fathers. And then the kids who've had fathers, they just say, yes, sir, and keep it moving. That's why the military Tech works out well. For a lot to of merge onto US so you learn America this. Bill. If somebody's taking the time out to put some bass in their voice, it's probably because they see something in you and they want to see you go somewhere and they want to see you make something of yourself and they know you can do better. Stop trying to make everything about pride and thinking that somebody's trying to attack you. Listen, take the advice and improve because you want to be a man that's constantly improving you don't want to be a man who hit a brick wall my son asked me the other day dad do you ever look back on life and think man I used to do dumb stuff at that age you're supposed to because 
that means you're progressing in life. If at 25, you're doing the same things you were doing at 20, you messed up somewhere. If at 20, you're doing the same things you did at 15, you messed up somewhere. And if at 30, you're doing the same things you did at 20 and 15, you headed for a brick wall somewhere in life. Unless you just were some type of uh, uh, child prodigy as far as employment is concerned and as far as manhood is concerned, which I do suppose there are probably men out there, but most of us are not like that. Most of us progress in a progressive manner. Lane to take exit 63 AB to merge onto US 190 when East When opportunity Manhattan. is out there, take a look at it to see what it's about. Don't just shut off an opportunity. If somebody says, hey, there's a job at this warehouse or at this plant or uh, in this facility doing some manual labor. Don't just automatically figure it's beneath you. Check it out. See what the opportunity is about. Right to merge onto US Take advantage East towards of everything Manuel. that you can. Put the work in. Use if there's the overtime, to keep right to take the overtime. If there's opportunities Mandeville. to learn and progress, take them. Don't get yourself caught up in this situation where you're like, oh, man, this is good enough. Well, you know what? What was good enough a year ago ain't good enough today because now gas, food, and housing prices are through the roof. So you need to be constantly bettering yourself so as the economy changes, you can change with it. Remember the seven Ps I talked about of the military, and I'm only going to give you six of them. Proper preparation prevents poor performance, but that's just not a one-time performance. We're talking about performance over the course of the life of the lifetime. Excuse me. So you do what you need to do to prepare yourself. Eight miles. Continue and to be on to prepared. North Causeway Boulevard not just for towards today, New Orleans. Not just for tomorrow. Not one year. Not five years. Not ten years. For life.